Okay, so I created three different shapes. So how I created this efficiently is I don't need uh, actually at the start all those target is going to have the sh same shape. So what I did was I just created one. I just deleted the target one and three like delete this. And I made a shape with target two. Just go to control vertex and I try to make a shape uh, that is covering this uh, here. And once you do that, duplicate this two times and uh, yeah, duplicate this two times and then made the other shapes. Like when I'm here, I made a shape like this. And then I'm when I'm in the other way, I made a shape like that. Okay, that's the only thing of what I did here so far. Okay, so I have this shape here. Next, what I have to do here is I have to select all those targets one to three, and um, do a blend shape. So finally, select a base, and go under. Wait, uh, there is already a blend shape here. Let me see why. Okay, maybe I already had a I created a blend shape, so I'll just delete that blend shape here. And do it again. So select all those targets. Select finally select the base and under here deform there is going to be blend shape. So once I have my blend shape, you're going to get the target one, two, three, and when I slide it to one then I'm exactly going to get that uh, shape. So I'll just hide this targets here because I don't need to use that anymore. So whenever I select one of the blend shape, I select and set the target to one, then it's going to create that shape. Okay. Uh, next, what I want to do is, um, okay, f next we want to create the the tank thread that is going to be uh, covering this uh, shape here. So first, go back to the circle, and I have to move this my tank thread geometry uh, to this uh, circle. Hit four and try to match it out. That is going to be here, matching with the circle. And uh, next, what I'm doing, going to do here is hit the insert key on your keyboard and hold down the X and uh, snap it to the center of the grid. Okay. And then duplicate this uh, geometry and rotate it to the left so that it's going to be fitting. Uh, to the other geometry, but I recommend to put a number like 10 or 8 or 12 or something that is going to uh, rotate it, what whatever number you have here is going to fit exactly matching the number uh, to 360. So now shift D hold, hold down the keyboard shift and D to duplicate what you just did and just uh, keep duplicating it till it is going to rotate all the way around. Okay, so next select all the geometries that you created and I'm, I want, I'm going to combine them. So hold down the space bar, mesh, combine, and then uh, I don't want those histories on, so edit delete by type history. So now I, I have just one geometry uh, that is uh, uh, creating a circle like this. Okay, uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a wire deform. So go here where is it? Uh, under the deform, or you can just easily select it from here. Deform wire. Click that. Select the geometry first. Hit enter, and select the base curve, and hit enter. Once you do that, you're going to have a wire. 
click that output wire one that you just created and then uh, the drop off distance set it to 100 okay now why don't you test it out if it works like blend shape select the target two and drag it to one and see if this is covering the the, the wheel inside 